Hello. In previous videos we saw how to generate MQTT messages from lots of generic sensors. In this video we'll focus on Bosch sensors. With the Bosch XDK you can instruct your real sensor to generate MQTT messages as shown on this Bosch forum page. We'll use this information as a template to simulate 5000 of those sensors in less than 5 minutes. In the Mimic View GUI, we have configured a single simulated sensor. Just like any simulated entity in Mimic, it has its own unique IP address, and in the MQTT configuration, we see the broker address that it connects to. The MQTT Bosch configuration file specifies a JSON file that drives the simulation. Let's now create this JSON file by copy-pasting the message template from the Bosch forum page. If you want a different JSON message, you would just copy it here. Once the JSON is in place, we can start the sensor to begin publishing messages. Now is the time to introduce the other components of this demo. First, the Hive MQ Enterprise Class MQTT Broker. It runs at the broker address that we saw in the sensor configuration. The other component is the third party Mosquito Subscriber Client. It listens on the wildcard topic that was shown in the XDK webpage. As soon as we start the sensor, the first message is published and we stop the sensor to examine the contents of the message. We can see that the message generated is identical to the copy-pasted template. The problem with this message is that the serial number is the dummy string with X's from the web page, which is not a real serial number. We have fixed that in the second MQTT Bosch 2 configuration. Once we configure it, we can see the new message generated. Now the serial number looks just like a real serial number on the web page. But we also changed the temperature value from 30 degrees to 50 degrees. How did we do this? Let's look at the JSON of the second Bosch configuration. You can see that we added some new instructions to get the values of the serial number and temperature from the mimic variable store. The mimic variable store is an associative array that we can change at runtime. What does that mean for our simulation? When we run the sensor again, we'll see the messages generated just like before. But when we change the variable in the mimic store to a new value, that new value is generated immediately. That means you can change values within messages at will for any simulated sensor at any time. What I showed in the GUI can be done programmatically in Java, Python, Perl, Tickle, like everything else in mimic. Not only can we do this for one sensor, but for up to 100,000 in one box. For this demo, let's quickly duplicate the sensor simulation 5000 fold. I'm using copy paste in the GUI for this purpose. Then let's switch to 10,000 foot view in the GUI to see all 5000 sensors. When I start a group of them, lots of messages are generated with unique serial numbers and desired values. We saw in less than 5 minutes how we configured 5000 Bosch sensors to publish desired MQTT messages with unique values. Thanks for watching.